Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to talk about something new in the world of iOS, and we're going to briefly touch on jailbreaking, but because nothing has really changed, that's why I opted to exclude it from the title of this video. So with that said, if you guys like the wallpaper I'm rocking here on my iPhone 6S Plus, then you can find it down below in the more info, the very first link, it will be listed there. Also, don't forget my iPad Pro 9.7 inch giveaway actually concludes today, so it's a perfect time to mention it in today's video since we're mostly going to be focused on the device. So be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're really excited and you want to win a brand new 9.7 inch iPad Pro and check out giveaway details on your screens right now as well as down below in the more info on that first link. All right, so let's just get straight into this. Now, a while back, Apple actually pulled iOS 9.3.2 and they were no longer signing it as the latest public version for just the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. Now, the reason for that is that select iPad Pro 9.7 inch models only were experiencing an Air 56 message when attempting to upgrade their devices inside of iTunes. Now, the issue, strangely enough, took quite some time to remedy. So since iOS 9.3.2 was actually released to the general public a ways back last month in May, the issue has persisted and it was just corrected yesterday, June 2nd, 2016. Of course, I created this video, which is really part one of this whole series talking about iOS 9.3.2 being pulled for the iPad Pro back on May 21st and the issue even preceded that. So it's definitely been going on for quite a while and it was just corrected again yesterday. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at IPSW.me. This is just a really awesome tool to kind of see what the latest firmware is for any specific device at any given time and which ones Apple is currently signing or not signing. So for the iPad Pro 9.7 inch, when we just select Wi-Fi, I'm going to tap done and we're going to select firmware there. You can see that we actually have two builds of iOS 9.3.2. The first one being that 13F69 and the second one being 13F72. And of course, because the former is red, that means it's no longer being signed for the device. And when we go to really any other device, it doesn't matter what it is, let's just tap on iPad Mini 3. You can see for the build number of iOS 9.3.2, we have the first iteration for the iPad Pro 9.7 inch that was pulled. Remember that 13F69 build. So really that's the only thing that's changed in this new version of iOS 9.3.2 and it's only available for the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. So if you don't have that device, you really don't have to worry. Now, as far as upgrading goes, of course, that's always up to you. It really depends on what you are looking for. Remember, if you're currently jailbroken, definitely do not upgrade to iOS 9.3.2. However, if you're waiting for a new jailbreak utility, the choice is really up to you. I can't advise you one way or another. Of course, remember, don't forget that there has been some really interesting news in the world of jailbreaking as of late, and I'm not really going to detail it in today's video. However, down below in the more info, that one link will contain additional information, including the latest from hacker Luca Tedesco where he actually demonstrated a new iOS 9.3.2 Safari based jailbreak. Now as usual he himself is not going to release anything however we may expect something from another team hopefully Taiji or Pangu. Now over the past few days some really interesting news has kind of started to propagate about the potential of a new Greek team entering the world of jailbreaking and releasing a tool of their own however they have yet to really demonstrate anything that cannot be refuted yet. So until they do that, I'm really not going to cover it. I don't want to get your hopes up. We're not going to talk about that because of course that could still be fake. So we're really going to keep our attention to the two main developers on the jailbreak scene right now, Taiji as well as Pangu, both of whom are still very interested in jailbreaking and still working on new jailbreak utilities. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated when anything happens. Be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.